So here are the rubber inserts. There are four of these. What's left of them, yeah. That go into the crank pulley. These are the shock mounts for the four pins that turn that PTO shaft for the front loader. So I'm down at a buddy's house who has a mini CNC engraving machine. And, well, you can see how much the pins wore out. You see they're, they're actually C's. They're no longer round. And uh, we're looking at a 20 millimeter outer diameter. The pin diameter is 10 millimeters. And the thickness of each one of these gaskets is about 15 millimeters. So I looked through my hoard, and yes, I know I'm going to get comments about how, uh, how deep my hoard is, but you guys have no idea what I have in there. And it's, it's, well, it is what it is. I've got this piece of rubber right here. This is a hard rubber. It's actually a harder composition than this, although these are, this is pretty stiff. So it'll be all right. A little bit harder is better than a little softer in my mind. And this is about an inch and a half thick. So we're going to see what we can cut out from this block right now. So we'll put you in fast forward mode and we'll get our little mini CNC engraving machine off and running. Was that the blower? So we're back at Casa de Beekeeper, and uh, we're just going to cut those guys out. We have to do a little trimming on the edge here, just a little fine tuning, which is to be expected because the you know, the rubber moves, it expands and contracts. But it took a total of 17 minutes on that machine. Six passes, seven passes, six passes. Three, uh, three per, these were 12, so we'll come in right around, we'll cut on past number five. We had a couple, we had a tree blow, blow down a couple doors down, the chippers are out there taking care of it. Fell on somebody's house, that sucks to be them. I mean that, with all sincerity. I'm not being a dick about it. So uh, 17 minutes on that machine, it cut all four of those, plus of, you know, three or four minutes of us here just kind of cleaning things up. but. Way quicker than I could have done with a hand grinder and a drill press. Yeah, buddy. Yeah, it should be perfect. It should be perfect. Yeah, about just about the same. This one, this one, the new ones might be a little bit harder. I'm gonna go run in the front. I get you into the front of the house here. We'll see how they. Uh, how they fit.
interestingly enough, I didn't even notice this until I'm watching the video here, that the rubber bushings, the old rubber bushings, were so worn out that those pins ground their way into that uh, crank pulley a little bit. Look at that. I couldn't see that. It's so tight in there. I got the GoPro camera just shoved up um, really close, and I didn't notice how it had... Uh, yeah, I kind of augured that hole out a little bit. I don't think that's going to be a problem. We're going to see. That's too bad because it looks like all four of those pulley holes, uh, bushing holes, excuse me, in the pulley are augered out. Hmm. Well, I'm going to keep an eye on it. it uh, for 17 minutes, I could have a whole new set of bushings cut. Actually, it'll be shorter now because he's got it saved in his uh, program. Thing of a deal there. It's just a matter of bringing the rubber down there and cutting new bushings. I suppose I could pull that pulley out and fill it with weld and rebore those holes or make um, metal bushings. Ooh, actually, yeah, I could probably lay out some metal bushings, but uh, that might be more trouble than it's worth. We're gonna see how things work with this. He spit all over though, that's just disgusting. I'm sorry I gotta show you guys that up, up close like that, but I figured you'd wanna see the bushings in place. And um, we didn't want to use an oil or anything on it because I didn't want, see, I did touch it there. I finally broke down and touched it nasty. Then I dragged my hand through the dirt. Um, <laughs> didn't want to use a oil-based product because uh, it'll break down the rubber. So we just put a little spit. Or actually, he put a little spit. Yep, yep, yep. There you go. They fit pretty good. So uh, stay tuned for the next video when I actually make the pins. And then uh, I actually did some body work on this rig. But that's going to be a couple of videos down the road. So give me a couple of days. I'll get that stuff done. Hope you guys have a great weekend. Talk to you soon. Got to go. Got to run. See ya.